reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. MMO Reporter's PAX Prime coverage is brought to you by GoDaddy. Get 30% off your next purchase at GoDaddy by using the code MMO30. Some limitations apply. See website for details. And once again, here I'm Chris from the uh, from MMO Reporter, and we are uh, here at the Wild Star Party, the Wild Star Community Party. It is an absolute blast. Uh, Tony is one of the community managers on the game, and uh, man, what a great problem to have! So many people here. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I uh, I feel really lucky. I mean, unfortunately, there was like 80 people that got turned away upstairs, uh, but it it was a great turnout. I couldn't have asked for any more. We got some cosplayers in here doing a cosplay contest. Uh, we're doing some raffles a little bit later, and uh, it's it's going to be a really great night. Everyone's having uh, some food and drinks right now, uh, kind of mingling right now. It's 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 a great community event right now. And it, you know, Wildstar has really started to grow. You know, in the first few months here after launch, uh, a pretty good community, a pretty strong community, um, in something that a game that's really hardcore. Which beforehand, lots of people were saying you you push for that type of player, you push for that type of game, and the community is going to suffer because you know. Hardcore players have a reputation of not necessarily being the best, uh, most friendly players. So, I mean, what have you done to make it such a fantastic community? I think uh, the thing that's helped us, uh, helped us out a lot is, uh, you know, Wildstar is just a fun, goofy game. You know, we don't take ourselves too seriously. Uh, we think we have a really quality game, and we think that it, it is a hardcore game, but why can't you just kind of laugh and have fun while you're having that hardcore challenge? You know what I'm saying? So I think that aspect of the game has helped a lot uh, with the overall uh, vibe of the of the community. I, it, it, we have a great community. I mean, I met nothing but a, a bunch of amazing people tonight so it's it's going well so uh, you know you get to sort of see the community at large since launch what are some really fantastic surprises that you've seen come out of the Wildstar community uh, first and foremost the fan art uh, the fan art has been incredible I we we feature fan art every week on the Nexus support simply because this art needs as many eyes on it as possible so if I have a, a venue where I can showcase this art that's what I want to do the, the fan art's awesome Awesome. And, you know, if anyone has any fan art, submit it. Fan art at wildstar-online.com. Send us your fan art. We love seeing it. We print all of it. Every single thing that you see on the Nexus Report is printed and posted in Carbine. Well, that's fantastic. And that's a great way, too, for the, the developers, the programmers, the coders, everyone who works on the game, the community managers, to see, you know, what they're working on all the time. You know, you don't always get that direct interaction with the fans, but having that around the office, this must be a great reminder of, of what's happening with the community. Yeah, I, I, I get a lot of direct interaction with the community, obviously, yeah. but uh, it really is special for the people who maybe almost never talk to a, a community member because, you know, they're they're not on that side of it, and so uh, it really is important for them to see, hey, you know all those extra hours that you put in and all the hard work and, you know, the blood, sweat, and tears that you put into this, into this job and into this project? People are out there and they're very passionate about it. Look at look at this artwork that took them hours to do, hours to do, and and you know they're just doing it for for free because they love love the game. So yeah, it is really really important for uh, for the morale I guess of the team to have them see that that fan art. All right, so I've got a couple of final questions here for you. Number one, you go home. You're not testing anything. You're not working on anything specific. What do you go home and play? If I go play just whatever I want to play, um, my favorite game of all time is Halo 2. Love that game. Or the N64. If, if I want to play with my wife, it's N64 Mario Kart. Nice. Because that is the only game that she can straight up whip my ass. Ah. Can I say ass? Yeah, okay. Well, my wife can whip my ass at Mario Kart. And uh, so if I want to play with her, I'll play Mario Kart. If I don't play with her, I usually do a lot of first-person shooters. Yeah. That's that's kind of my my bag. I'm just working my way through Halo right now and getting ready for Destiny, right? So got to go old school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. So um, and then uh, the final question, race and class. What are you running Wildstar? Definitely, for sure. If you're not an exile, lose my number. 
All right? I won't talk to any Dominion scum around here. That's right. <laughs> I love starting that war. I love it. Uh, no, I am uh, I'm definitely a Granok warrior through and through. You give me a big sword, I'd smash you. That's me. That's, uh, that's it. Okay. I, I don't know what I don't know how we haven't met in person before, but obviously there's a connection here. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It, you know what? I'm just going to hold you for the rest of this interview. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking to me. It's been a blast. Great party. Uh, can't wait to, to see what's coming up with Wildstar and with the Wildstar community. And uh, thanks for taking the time. Of course. It's a pleasure. Thank you for coming. I hope everyone's having a good time. I hope everyone posts pictures so you at home can see the fun that you're not having. I'm sorry. That's a horrible way to end this. Thanks, everyone, and uh, hope to see you in game. Love you.